friends and family, welcome to 2018. I pray that this year be full of blessings for you, prosperity, good health, and contentment within. You know, that you're happy not only by everything that's around you or surrounding you, but inside there's that happiness, that contentment that no external influence can touch. How about that? So I pray that blessing on you. I think one of the things we all strive for is to have less of a need to wear makeup. And when I say makeup, I'm not talking about, you know, just getting your eyebrows or lips, you know, painted, but I'm talking about having to put on layers and layers of, you know, primer and foundation and powder and all kinds of layers in order to make your skin look better, which could be, you know, whether you wanted to change the color a little bit or to make it more radiant or to make it look healthier. So that is my goal to make sure that I work on my skin so that I don't have a need to wear foundation and powder. I will wear it if I feel like it, but I won't have to. In this video, I show you the process that I went through to get my chemical peel done on my face. The chemical peel was done in order to retexturize my skin and also to lighten the hyperpigmentation. So if you're interested in the entire process and the results, stay tuned. So friends and family, I just went and had my first professional peel done. And the process was very simple. They cleaned my face and then they applied a solution that smelled and felt like alcohol to take away the oil from my face. After that, they put the peel solution and they, 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 like they, dabbed it in it. they dabbed a cotton ball in it and then they you know, put it on my face very gently and you know, lightly. And then they waited and they asked me, how do I feel? You know, am I feeling any burning sensation or tingling or whatnot? Around my cheeks, it started to feel like when you put lime on your skin. Not bad, just, you know, slight tingling. So she put on the second layer and it got a little bit more intense around the cheeks. And then wait a little bit, put the third layer, wait it, and I started to feel it more here also. I didn't feel on my forehead at all, even though she put it all here, you know, everywhere. I, and then she started to notice the skin around here and here was starting to look some kind of way. Okay. So she said uh, she's going to have to stop and neutralize. So she didn't put another layer. And so she put the neutralizing solution on there. And she's concerned about this area and somewhere here. So what she did was she gave me a tube of something that is like uh, Vaseline and st a steroid kind of combination. And so she put a little bit on there, dab it uh, pretty thick, and then she added uh, sunscreen to it and then over here too. I already had a pimple here and that's what's looking a hot mess right there. It looks nasty. But the rest of my face, I had no pimples or anything, just, you know, my usual acne scars. So the first two to three days, it's going to get tighter and tighter, and then it's going to start to peel. Um, I'm supposed to wash it with a very, very gentle solution. She gave me that. I'll put it, insert it in here for you to see what it is. And then also, um, my moisturizer should be something that is really, really bland, that has no fancy crap in it. You know, my new skin is going to be vulnerable to the elements. So I have to make sure I protect it. So this is day one. So my face has been itching slightly, especially around here. And so when, when it itches, I put this ointment on there. So that's what I've been putting. Um, she said it was okay to wash my face the first day, but I did not. Um, as you can see, this area, that and that area is already starting to darken and I have not stepped out of the house today. Today is day two and it's the end of the day. 
uh, and I am now going to wash my face for the first time. I want you to see how it's done. Before I do that, you can look at my skin now. You see there's a dark sort of shadow on it, and I think that's the dead skin that's ready to come off. I used to have a dark patch here and a dark patch here. This dark patch is still there. This one got dried up and fell off today, about two hours ago, just before. <laughs> I decided to come and do the update. Do not jump into the shower and let the water just fall on your face, okay? Don't do that um, because that is going to be too harsh. So you want to make sure that you are not rubbing. You're just putting the water on your face and patting. Put the water on your face and pat, okay? So before you wash your face, you want to wash your hands because the soaps used for your face are gentler than the soaps used for your hands, right? So if you have bacteria and dirt and crap on your hands and you just go ahead and start washing your face with the facial soap or cleanser that you have, know that the bacteria on your hands are not going to die. <laughs> They're not going to be 100% um, eliminated and so you'll be putting this on your face. I am going to go ahead and wash my hands with my antibacterial soap. And the water you use to wash your hands, I mean, to wash your face should be keep it, okay? Lukewarm, so this is the bar soap. Very plain smelling. So I'm going to rub it like this. Um, and start patting on my face. Oh, ew, 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 ew. This is a piece of skin that I think came up from the side right here. It looks like it. It's nasty. Okay. My face looks terrible now and I want you to see exactly what it looks like. Do you see? It looks frosty. This is exactly what they call it. Um, when they were applying the chemical, after after about five minutes or so, my my skin started to look like this actually, and that's what the lady called it. The dermatologist said it was frosting, and that is the chemical reacting to the protein in my skin. And so now that I have patted it dry, I'm going to use the moisturizer. So the moisturizer is Apricot Whip Moisturizer from Eminence. This is a moisturizer that is um, matte and it leaves your face not greasy for the entire day. It's, it's wonderful and your, baby, your face feels baby soft when you use it. This is the morning of day three and I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like before I wash my face and put um, a moisturizer. So the peeling has begun. Look at my nose, looking like a hot mess. See yeah. that? My forehead, right in between my eyes, is starting to peel also. Yeah. Look into my eyes, you will see what you mean to me. Take me as I am. Take my life, I would give it all I would sacrifice. This is the only sunscreen that I have used so far that doesn't give me pimples or doesn't darken my skin. Allows and protects acne prone skin. So down here it says uh, skin types prone to acne, rosacea and hyperpigmentation. Day four, friends and family, and this is just after washing my face. A whole lot of peeling was happening as I was washing my face, just, you know, falling off. So if you look around the perimeter, you can see the dead skin is still there. You see it right here. You see it right here. So here's where the skin came off when I was washing my face today. And then here, the dead skin is still there. You see right there? 
still have some dead skin and again around this perimeter right here but from here to the center of my face looks like the peeling is done so I'm going to apply my moisturizer the second layer everywhere on the brand new skin and also on the still waiting to peel <laughs> skin like from a distance it's you know I like the look of this area it's kind of glowing so we'll see what the rest of it looks like tomorrow tomorrow I love you tomorrow you're only a day away it's the end of day five y'all and it is sort of a line of demarcation right there I haven't peeled here yet and then under my chin I don't know if you can see it there's also a line there these hyperpigmentation spots have lightened just a little bit but not significantly so um, I'm looking forward to finishing with this peel and just moving on if I'm going to go through this again it might as well be a deeper peel than this because this really I don't feel it was worth the hustle for me to stay home indoors for so many days for it to peel all right so this is end of day five I think I'm about done so this is the semi-final look I don't think this this video camera is doing it justice because I have a sort of a glow it's almost like I've put on a brighter foundation but I haven't my overall texture and brightness yes my dull skin is gone but definitely this is something that has to be repeated a few times in order to see the true benefit thanks friends and family and I'll see you in the next one take care of yourself so this is my skin now without any foundation or any um, what do you call those things? Powders. Yeah, nothing except grease. <laughs>